This might be a bad idea, but I've got a story to tell you. I always try to give my players interesting items. It's almost like I use them as guinea pigs, just throwing all sorts of things at them and seeing which one sticks. Of course, rings of protection and uh, cloaks of resistance are always used, but forgotten. And the more interesting ones tend to be simply abandoned. I've had a few hits in the past, but as I was trying to get at least one item that all the players would love. So, I went and did my research. Going through various compendiums, collections, video games, legends, stories, and all sorts of things. I amassed a list of about a hundred items. I then shortened it down to twenty, which I then converted mechanically to work with the player's level. With this list of what I thought would be instant hits, I started the players on their quest. This is when something very interesting happened. Some of you might be familiar with the bosom ice pill. This item from Princess Maker 2 does nothing other than increase the bus size of the adopted daughter you are raising. It's very expensive and only sold a few times. And if you buy it, you have to pass up buying the best item in the game. Being a bit off in the head or simply primalistic, I always end up purchasing it. Now, other games have similar items or even quests. That does nothing other than increase the character's bust size. Why are they there? I sought to understand this, and my own strange attraction to the item, so I decided to simply toss it in the item list. The players were having fun with the adventure, especially with the three items they picked up early. Then they defeated a spellcaster. And along with two other items on the list, I placed a bosom ice pill, thinking the other players would simply think it was funny. All hell broke loose when the wizards identified it. I think, however, I might have skipped a step in this story. You see, all the players as well as the characters are male. However, they all have intricate backstories, most of which I could not make myself finish reading, as well as a heavy load of in-campaign NPC interaction and story crafting. To my understanding, each of the players had either a significant other, lover, daughter, or in the case of the wizard, who I found out had practically sneaked in this bit of info into the very bottom of his backstory, a human-shaped advanced homunculus. The wizard at first tried to keep the knowledge of what a pill does a secret, but other players wouldn't let him. In a very aggressive few minutes, they managed to get him to say what a pill did in-game. And that's when the strangest conversation I have ever heard in my entire life began. Each of them began to explain why they deserved a pill, who they would use it on, why that person they would use it on deserved it, and on and on, bickering back and forth. One of them, the monk, then suggested they would bid on the item with the rest of their inventories. This only made things worse, as they began to squabble over everyone's individual assets. As time went on, I tried to restore order, but at the same time was curious as to why they were so impassioned by this item. After the first hour, I even toyed with the thought of simply saying they would all receive a pill, but I let them continue, all the while listening carefully and keeping track of the time. About two and a half hours in, and not one of them backed down yet. Two would do so ever so often, but be reminded of something and then leap back into the argument. I was about to simply write the whole thing off as Nuslet's magic aura and take whatever hatred the players would give me. But just then, the wizard, with the grace and tact of a crazed berserker, announced he was casting a fireball on everyone. Before I could say anything about all of this having been taken too far, the other players were already rolling their reflex saves, followed by rolling initiative. Knowing this has gotten to the point far past being silly, I asked the players if everyone was serious about this whole battle, over a pill that could possibly be purchased for less than a plus one sword. 
as they unanimously agreed to finish what he had started. I simply placed a check mark on my list next to a particular line. After a second of thought, I placed a second check mark. Hello everyone and welcome back. My voice is a bit scraggly. It's the next day, anyway. Um, anyway, why don't you just give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Prefer will be telling you how you found this video. Anyway, if you want to look at the list of items he used, I here's the list right here. Just look at it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time, and have a good one.